Welcome to Sled Check. On today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and replace the upper A-arm bushings on the snowmobile. Let's dive in. All right guys, so remember in the first episode when we were inspecting the sled's front end here, we did end up noticing that the A-arms were a little bit wiggly. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to that today and actually get those A-arm bushings replaced. So let's go ahead and dive into that now. All right, so we've gone ahead and got the plastics off of the snowmobile. Now, taking a quick peek inside here, we're gonna need a little extra room, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and take the exhaust pipe off the sled so we can kind of get our hands in there and then get to those back lock nuts. So let's get to it. So we've gone ahead and removed the exhaust pipe out of the sled and this is giving us plenty of room to get to the back side of the bolt where the lock nuts are. Now we need to go ahead and remove the shock to get complete access to the A-arm. So now that we've gone ahead and got the shock off of the sled, next up we're gonna go ahead and remove the mounting bolts. So let's get that done. All right, so now that we've got the A-arm removed, we're gonna go ahead and take out our bushings here. Now, on this sled, we actually have some plastic bushings that came on here. And the plastic bushings have eventually worn down, so what we're gonna do is be replacing those with some bronze bushings. Now, Dennis Kirk carries a wide variety of different bushings for different snowmobiles, so take a look at our website. We have plenty to offer. All right, so we've gone ahead and got the bushings out of the A-arms. Now we're gonna simply just grab a rag of some sort and clean up inside here, just making sure that it's clean and free of debris. Then we will go ahead and simply place our bushings inside the A-arm and make sure it's snug. Okay, so the bushings are installed on the A-arms. Next up is to just grab your spacer and just take a quick look at it. Make sure there's no rust or anything. If there is, grab a scotch bright pad, go ahead and just give it a good cleaning. Make sure you're good to go. After that, we'll go ahead and grab some of that Bel-Ray waterproof grease. And we'll just wipe a little bit on there, just like so, and then install your spacer. All right, so now that we got the bushings and spacers installed, let's go ahead and get this A-arm back in the sled. Okay guys, well we've gotten everything back together, buttoned back up, and so now taking a look here, giving it a good shake, 100 times better than what we had last time. So now simply repeat the process on the other side of the snowmobile, and then you guys will be good to go to hit the trails. All right, so that's gonna do it for replacing the upper A-arm bushings on the sled. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment, share, and subscribe. This is Sled Check, I'm Dylan with Dennis Kirk, and we'll see you guys next time. Sound production, take one. All right, so now that we've gone ahead and got the shock removed, let's go ahead and get rid of the A-arms out of the, the sled. Let's get rid of them. Let's just get rid of them. Wait, wait, what am I saying for that? All right, so we've gone ahead and got the plastics out of the way. Now, looking inside of the engine here, we're gonna end up having to take off, I said hand, and grab a scotch right pad, go ahead right around the side here, scotch right, I said right versus bright. Yeah. Yeah. And you were rambling anyway, so yep.